Defining Soils In this video, we will continue setting up our ReadyRock wall model by defining the subsurface stratigraphy, including the retained foundation and leveling pad materials. As we define the soil conditions around the wall, you'll note that the drainage course immediately behind the wall is conservatively neglected in the analysis. We will use the Profile tab to tell the program elevations where we want to assign contacts between horizontal layers of soil. To do so, simply click Add and either enter the depth of the interface or the thickness of the layer. Note that the depth is based on the top of the retained soil at the back of the wall. For our example, we want a soil contact located at the bottom of the wall, so we will enter a depth of 10 feet. Click Cancel to stop inputting. Next, we need to define what soil types we want to be available for the program to use. For this, we will use the Soils tab. In this tab, you are not actually assigning a particular soil to a location in the profile, you are simply defining the parameters for the different soil types. For our example, we will add a sand, a silty sand, and a crushed stone material for our leveling pad. Click on Add, provide a descriptive name for the soil, then enter the unit weight, the angle of internal friction, the cohesion of the soil, the angle of the soil structure friction, and the saturated unit weight. Note that it is often typical to neglect the cohesion of the soil for the retained soils. We can select a pattern to represent our soil and change the color. When you're done inputting, click Add. Note the Classify button, which contains typical values for various soil types. Just enter your soil type and the program will provide typical values for that material. Be sure to use values that are consistent with the actual conditions at your site, such as those recommended in the project's geotechnical report. Repeat these steps for the remainder of your soil types. Click Cancel when finished. Now we can assign the soil types we just entered to the specific layers defined in the Profile tab using the Assign tab. This can be done in three ways. Right click on the layer and choose the appropriate soil. Click on the sample and then on the layer or by choosing the appropriate soil from the drop-down menu in the table. For our example project, we will ass assign the sand to the upper layer and the silty sand to the lower layer 